This tutorial is all about iron and steel and why they rust or corrode and also about aluminium and why aluminium does not corrode. We've all seen things which are rusty, for example old railings, some cars seem to go rusty, bicycles when they're left outside, all kinds of things go rusty. These things are made out of iron or its alloy steel, but actually causes things to rust. We can do an experiment to try and investigate this. This diagram describes a classic school experiment to show what causes rusting. In each tube there's a steel nail and it's put into different conditions to uh, see which particular factors cause uh, rusting or which combination of factors. On the left is what's called the control experiment. This is what uh, you'd expect to cause rusting, water and air. So the nail is put into contact with both of these things. The second picture shows the nail uh, in contact with the air, of course, but with a drying agent. And the drying agent, calcium chloride, is used to absorb any water vapor inside the tube. So this second tube is in dry air, it has no water present. The third tube has the nail in contact with water, but because the water has been boiled, that has driven out any dissolved air which may have been in it. To stop the air getting back in, there's a layer of oil over the top of the boiled water. So in this case, the nail is in contact only with water and no air. To see what other things affect rusting, the fourth picture has got the nail in contact with uh, air, water and also salt. And in the third one, air, water and also dilute acid. The results are shown here as well. The steel nail in contact with water and air goes rusty and when there is salt or acid present goes even rustier. Salt and acid make rusting worse. However, it seems that we need to have both air and water present because the one with only air or the one with only water do not rust. This shows the specification content you need to learn. So you need to understand that salty water and acid rain will affect rusting, will make rusting worse. We also need to understand that rusting is an oxidation reaction. In other words, that the iron reacts with oxygen in the air, forming an oxide. And that this oxide is called hydrated iron oxide. That means that the iron must react with oxygen and water to make this hydrated iron 3 oxide. This slide summarises what you need to know about rusting corrosion of iron and steel, what makes it worse, and that all-important word equation you must learn. You might get an exam question which asks you to compare various metals and their speed of corrosion. Um, this will be like a data table with some questions about it where you might be expected to look at the time taken for various metals to corrode, for example, and their suitability, perhaps, for particular tasks. Um, one thing you need to know, however, is that aluminium doesn't corrode in moist conditions and to be able to explain why that is. It's not quite true to say that aluminium doesn't corrode, because in fact it does. Aluminium is a very reactive metal and it combines with oxygen in the air to form a layer of aluminium oxide. But the aluminium oxide layer sticks very, very tightly to the surface of the aluminium. And this stops the air and any water coming in contact with the aluminium from then on. Also, this oxide surface layer is very unreactive and therefore doesn't dissolve in water or doesn't corrode itself. So once the aluminium has this protective oxide surface layer, it stops the aluminium from corroding any further. The issue with iron and steel is that its corrosion product, hydrated iron 3 oxide or rust, does not stick to the surface. In fact, it forms a spongy layer which flakes away from the surface, revealing more iron underneath. 
This means that the next layer of iron will also corrode, and the next and the next, until the iron is so weakened that it, it becomes useless and has to be replaced.